Mm-hmm. First, we're going to get an answer, and then we're going to go to Mark Weiser. Hey, Coach. Uh, found yourself behind again, but again, 64 to 61, a little under three minutes left. Just couldn't quite get it done. Just kind of what happened over those last two, you know, almost three minutes. Well, we kept we kept scoring. We uh, They made a couple threes. Uh, we had a tough time when it was 66-61. Uh, coming out of the timeout or, or coming off their bucket when we wanted to get a drive for Braylon. They did a good job defensively on, on deflecting it. And the play broke a little bit and that uh, we got in trouble and we just turned it over and then they made a big three. But um, I thought our guys executed in a lot of really good ways. Um, again, it's the second game in a row where even though we're not scoring and the other team is that that's, it's, it's, it, they just have, they just have a lead. They don't have a, uh, it, it, it's not a cushion, right? Because they weren't able to take momentum from us and our guys come back out in the second half and, and we go right back at it. So um, it's a tough way to lose. They're a good team. Our kids are, are putting so much into this um, and it's just a tough way to lose on the road. And I feel for them because I, I know what work they're putting into it, them and the coaches. And um, I think the fans saw it on Saturday with the Auburn game, what they're putting into it. I hope that we will have a great crowd on Saturday when South Carolina comes at two o'clock. Tom, um, you had a couple guys in foul trouble. I, I know that um, I guess you were missing some guys uh, depth wise. Did, did that affect uh, things in terms of the, the fouls? Oh, I don't no question. Yeah, Ty McMillan would have been in. I thought Dalen did a good job, though. Um, yeah, we had to, we, we, th- those were issues. No question about it. I haven't looked at the minutes to see how many minutes they were actually out. But um, Ty McMillan couldn't go tonight and, and uh, got hurt in Monday's practice, lower leg injury. So it's a little bit day to day for him. Um, obviously, the other guys, Tyrone Baker, John Ned, um, Jalen Ingram, obviously, those guys are out. So um, nothing we can do there. But, but uh, um, I don't think we wore down at all. I don't think it was that. I think we managed it. And um, at the end, they just made a couple more shots. That three, when it was 66-61 and we didn't score, and then they made the three, that's the tough part right there. Okay, we're going to wrap up with Mike Griffith. Um, yeah, coach, I guess I just ask you about, and I'm sure you might've already been asked, so forgive me, but the, the 10 0 run, um, you know, where, you know, what do you attribute that to? And I don't um, remember who had a 10 0 run. I don't even remember who had that did. I think you guys oh, went yeah, from 13 I, to three down there. And the, oh yeah. I, I, I just, I, I just, yeah, I, I'm oblivious a lot of times to the runs. It's just, it's calling the next play. I thought our execution was good. We got to the rim. Uh, we we're in the bonus early. I think that's big. Um, we were attacking the basket. Some shots we make, you know, some footwork related. Um, and but it, when we're not making shots, we still got to score. And that's going through the post or getting to the rim is so important. So our guys stayed on the attack. The ball was moving well there inside of that run when we made the comeback. Okay, thanks, coach. Thank you.